We'll take a closer look at my first Adonis. This was, um, I had a, got a sale price on, on this doll sometime last summer. So let's take a closer look at um, Adonis. I do find that his head is in a disproportionate to the size of his body. So that was the first thing that's, that striked me. Um, his hair is a bit crunchy. It's a uh, sh very shiny and it's a uh, silver gray hair. Um, but he has these, which I don't understand. It doesn't match his, his hair. But he has a very handsome face. I like his gray eyes. He's wearing this uh, lock necklace, gold pendant. Um, and then there's this part here I don't understand either. So he has this uh, ruffled blouse with a waistcoat, black waistcoat. It's shimmery fabric for the blouse. And he has these um, shorts with functional pockets. And his boots are like riding boots to me. I easily slip them on without undoing the back zip. And of course, I'm known for keeping the knee plastic knee guards on. It's just a habit of mine. I like to protect their joints as long as I can because I don't know if I'm going to resell them or not. Um, so let's look at his uh, additional fashion stock. So there is his brown tote bag. Let me try to zoom in. It's, um, okay. He has an extra pair of hands, and these are interesting because one hand is a fist and the other one is a peace sign. These remind me of Blythe dolls. And then he has a double-faced scarf. And the big ticket item is his fur. This is obviously faux fur. Um, here are the colors, like blended colors of light brown, dark brown, or gray. And it's lined in a red poly fabric when there's no closures. <laughs> Um, this is the collar. There is a collar. And then I will fully get him dressed up. So here he is in his full outfit. His scarf. His coat. I have a tr uh, trouble having him hold his, his bag here. Because... He doesn't come with grip hands, so it's very awkward for him to hold it. Maybe I'll just use the shoulder strap for him. I really like these boots. These are one item that I'm pleased with. I like the style that there's buckles in the front. It looks very equestrian. And I'm very surprised that the doll stand is holding up with such a large body. Um, yeah, his boots are really, really nice. Here is the back side of this humongous fur coat. Um, here's um, one look with the scarf and the um the bag i really like the blouse the ruffles are really nice you know his three-piece outfit it's it's not bad not bad at all he has such a handsome face too and i finally and finally I put, uh, attach the two different hands that he has. I find it odd that in this kind of fashion, he has a peace sign. And then on the other hand, he has a solidarity um, fist, a hand signal, hand sign. So again, 
it doesn't match his fashion no um well i needed a grasp hand to hold have him hold his bag but i get a peace sign and a solidarity fight the power of you know hand sign um so yeah he is very handsome like i said um the more i look at his body i find his head proportionate to his body size maybe in my initial reaction it was way too big for his tiny head um so yeah um let's place him in his new home with the mitzi ladies well i'm really tight on space so this is my mitzi um doll shelf he's making himself home it's uh Almost it's uh, the holiday season, so that's why I have a pink, a pink deer, pink Bambi. So here he is uh, next to Gloria, who's redressed in Barbie. And the rest of the ladies are down there, mostly Gina's and Gloria's. Um, yep, and thank you for watching my uh, unboxing of my first Adonis hunk. He's so handsome.